Greetings folks, sorry about the noise, we have a bit of a rain squall going over and my neighbour is mowing his lawn, but this is a little time slot that I have available to do this video. I'm keen to start another scratch build project and uh, I've been thinking about the sort of plane I want to build for quite a long time. I really like the old retro planes, but I also like uh, these sorts of sort of small jets with the fuel pods on the wings and the, and the straight wings. I just love that style of, of plane and it, it sort of comes from my childhood. I'll explain that in a minute. This is the Lockheed T-33. I think Motion RC recently introduced a free wing T-33 EDF. I'm not interested in EDF, so whatever I build is going to be a prop plane. So it's, it's going to be similar to that style, but a prop plane. Uh, and there's a plane that is more relevant to us in Australia, and that's the Air Mackie MB326, or as we used to call it, the Mackie Jet. And it's a jet from, uh, it was built from 1961 to 1975, Italian design. And the Australian Air Force introduced it as uh, a jet trainer in 1965, I think it was. And it was also used in the RAAF aerobatic team, uh, the Roulettes, before we started using the PC nines and the PC-21s which are being used now, uh, the, the Mackie jet was what they used back then. In Australia they were built in Fisherman's Bend which is just in Melbourne, 70 kilometres away and the test flights were done from Avalon Airport which is 15-20 uh, kilometres away from here so they would have been flying over the top of us back in the 70s. And there's just something about that sort of symmetrical cross with the fuel pods on the end of the, the, the short straight wings that um, just looks fantastic in the sky, I think. It's a memory from my early school years and these were the cool jets that we used to draw when we were kids. So, how to come up with a foam board version of it. Now, it's going to be a prop and not an EDF as I said, so uh, I'm not going to be strictly sticking to scale details or anything like that. I just want to make something that looks similar uh, but I can fly. I'm thinking about a 1.1 or 1.2 meter wingspan, so you know, substantial sort of size. And I'd source a, a three view drawing, and that's enough for me to uh, build a, a scale model from, basically. I printed this one out so that it's sort of one tenth scale to what I'm going to build. So I can just measure off that. Look, that's uh, 12 centimeters, so scale it up to 1.2 meters. So I can just directly measure from the diagram to get rough ideas of scale. Hot wire cut wings or folded wings, I haven't decided yet. Folded wings are, are pretty easy and take a lot less work and um, easier to put a spar in. Hot wire cut wings I can e more easily do a taper. Fuselage will probably just be a, a square rectangle shape maybe with some uh, turtle deck style curving over the top uh, but I'm not too worried about it looking all curvy. Uh, I'm not that fussy building planes like that really. Probably a belly lander, no landing gear. Uh, see how I feel, see how it goes anyway. So that's the plan and when I make some decisions we'll continue on and start building. First decision has been made. I'm going to make the wings out of hot wire cut XPS foam uh, because it'll be easier to do the taper. I don't want it to be as much tapered as that so I've calmed down a little bit this model would have been 270 millimeters at the root and uh, 160 at the tip I'm going to do 250 and 190 so it's less of a taper still will will be tapered next I have to decide on an airfoil and I decided I wanted a symmetrical airfoil so uh, it'll fly nice and fast and aerobatic and upside down just a standard NACA airfoil and the thickness uh, I have to have it thick enough at the tip to be strong enough basically so I'm going for a 12% and an NACA 12 fairly chunky wing but it'd be nice and strong so I've sourced uh, the NACA 12 airfoil 12% thick 30% back and printed them out at the scale that I want for the root and the tip and then I'll stick that onto some um, window flashing or thin what is it 0.3 millimeter aluminium and I'll cut them out then I'll cut out the wings.
My wing cores are all cut out and I'm very happy with them, they came out well. Now I'm going to shape up the fuel pods, just using foam and sort of carving that out. Now people always ask me how I line up the uh, templates on the on the foam and I really just eyeball it. Uh, and that gives me enough accuracy. You can measure up from the bottom edge of the top edge of the foam and put marks on there if you want to line it up that way. Uh, but yeah, pretty easy just to eyeball it like that. There's the tip airfoil, same thing. You can easily uh, just line that up eyeballing. You can put in some washout if you want to, which means uh, less angle of attack on tips. But because I want this to be aerobatic, acrobatic, and be able to fly upside down, I'm having no washout because if you're flying upside down, then it'd be wash in, which would be terrible. So the wings are all laminated, I've made up some uh, wingtip fuel tanks and covered them just with packing tape and I'm printing out a dihedral bracket here to try and hold the wings at the right angle uh, but they're sort of s sitting pretty well at the right angle anyway I think. Anyway that'll do it for this video, in the next video we'll uh, join the wings together, put servos and ailerons in there. Don't know about flaps, I probably won't have flaps to start off with, uh, so all looking good. Thanks for watching.